So today we are uh, interested in knowing how much exposure the harvesters get and this is an ongoing research in our lab for the last uh, 20 years now and uh, we are seeing how much residues are present on the leaves, how much are picked up by the gloves when they are working and all of this is an effort to understand how much exposure they get. As all the workers are willing to to participate and it's all voluntarily. And, um, take some time to do the collection and passing out the stuff, but uh, if everybody's willing to participate, it makes it easier. In a few minutes when the break happens, we will collect their gloves. So in the morning when they came in at 6 a.m., uh, they, they wore gloves, the, night, the blue gloves that you see, the nitrile gloves. And right now, before they're going to take a break, they will discard their gloves and put it in the dustbin. But before they do that, we're going to collect it in Ziploc bags and freeze it and test how much residue is there. Numero? Yes. Ten. Numero? Fifteen. So that's the human aspect of it. So um, this is a Numero. rigorous uh, uh, protocol that we follow. We're very strict with that. They can participate if they're interested in it. And we've been fortunate. They're very interested in it, very cooperative. So what they do is they work in the farm all day and they collect the urine as they work. They're collected in coolers in urine jugs kept inside the coolers and we collected the next day morning. We are demonstrating in our studies supported by strawberry growers, California Strawberry Commission over the years and the studies that are ongoing here that these workers have very low levels of pesticide exposure and in fact they're the the best studied workers with respect to pesticide exposure in agriculture and that gives us confidence that the levels of exposure are not having a health impact.